Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Mech Lab and Mario Man. Today we're going to be looking at another one of the Bushwhackers. Surprise, surprise. And this one is the Splatwhacker. Yes. Any any mech where I can make a boom and a splat variant of, that's automatically a good mech. I'm sorry. I got a boom, a boom whacker and a splat whacker. I can't get, the only other thing that would be even better if it was a boom splat whacker. I mean, I, I, that would that would just make the entire, like, the server would implode. The game server would be like, no, this is just too much awesome. So I guess PGI can't really do a, a boom splat whacker, but I, I can have one of each, and I can alternate between them. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is the, the last one of the one that's, like, really up close brawly type. Now, this one is, in the, is not quite as brawly as the AC-20 version, just because... I had to go a little crazy with this one. Uh, and all of them, all of these mechs have a a pretty large engine cap. The 360 is a maximum. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do what exactly what I wanted to do with this mech. But I was still able to do mostly what I, I, was, I, I, I wanted to do with this mech. As you can probably tell, it's got missiles. Of course. It's a splat whacker. It's got a couple energy, too. Let's take a look at this bad boy. This thing is four SRM4s with Artemis. I know, I know, you're like, oh, why you use Artemis with SRM4s? Because I like it. They do make them tighter, as much to people apparently don't believe they do. I notice a difference. I hit more accurately with them. I like Artemis on SRM4s, especially when they're primary weapon. Now, if it was secondary weapons, if I had like two of them, I probably wouldn't worry about it. But yes, if they're the primary weapon, I am going to use Artemis on SRM4s. If you don't like it, don't use it. You get four extra tons free, whatever. Um, this one is also, and, and unfortunately, I have a kind of an unwritten rule. If if there's a mech that has more than one AMS hardpoint, I have to use AMS on that mech. Just because I'm the type of person that I feel that if there's something unique that a mech can do that another variant can't, or or a variant can do that other variants can't do in that same chassis i'm going to use that to that advantage and because this one has two ams slots on it i'm going to run dual ams on it and it will shred through a lot of missiles and it's not really a bad thing at least to me so i'm whatever um you know a lot of people are like oh ams is useless blah, blah, blah. same same deal i like it and, I, and if it's because this can do it i'm gonna do it as you can probably tell, this has got a pretty large motor in it. It's got an XL325. I originally was going to go with a 350, but because of the AMS, that was, that was my conundrum with this mech. One, it had the most missiles. Two, it also had dual AMS. And three, I wanted to make a really fast mech. And I couldn't do that with a Brawley mech like the AC20 version because you can't run the XL on it. So uh, I just, I don't know. Like I said, I was kind of, a, a you know, I, I was kind of conflicted about it, but yeah, an XL325, it puts it at 95 kph without speed tweak. Um, I'm, I want to say it was like 101 or 102 kph. So this thing will go over 100 once I get speed tweak on it. It's got decent armor. Um, it has got a lot of firepower, 44.4. It's got four SRM4s and two medium lasers. So, and then plus the AMS. It can get in and out really good. Uh, good armor because of the armor quirks. The only thing it was is the XL and stuff like that. But I wanted to go with the bigger motor. Uh, I just couldn't. It, it just couldn't fit it. Um, it's already. It, it's it, this is a pretty warm build. One point three one heat efficiency, and you've got to really like kind of. If you're up close in the SRM range, don't bother with the medium lasers that much, because uh, that will definitely overheat you pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, ninety five without speed tweak. Um, one point three one heat efficiency. It's got twelve double heat sinks. We're running. Uh, double uh, heat sinks, endo steel with Artemis. I couldn't fit Pharaoh on here, not enough slots. Now uh, the quirks, uh, it gets ballistic cooldown quirk, and it only gets one ballistic thing. So whatever. Um, and I'm not taking advantage of that, which kind of sucked. But I wanted this has got four missiles, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's got the standard. Uh, it does have a turn rate bonus, uh, but it's got the standard armor quirks as the other ones have. So uh, it's not too shabby. 
Uh, you know, obviously modules of choice or medium uh, laser range and SRM full SRM four cooldown. However, those aren't going to matter. The modules. That's the reason I haven't really been going over them that much because they're not going to matter after February. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. And I don't even know what this, I don't even know how I'm going to be doing setup videos anymore after that. So, uh, but that's a whole other topic. So, um, yeah. But after this, I've got one more. I've got the high roller. Uh, so look, keep on look out for that. But that's going to be the last bushwhacker. So um, yeah, I hope to see you in that one. And until then, I will see you guys later. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Ah, oh, so far this night has sucked. Let's see if we can continue that. You guys want to group up on map six? Close enough to have sex for me anyway. <laughs> Get acquired. And there you go. New target acquired. Atlas is just rolling. New target acquired. We got an Atlas pushing. We should probably follow him. New target acquired. New target acquired. Yeah, thank you for finally targeting the guy that I was looking at.
target destroyed. Twenty-five percent captured. Right arm destroyed. Warning incoming missile. Base is being captured. Enemy base is being captured. Warning incoming missile. SRM ammo. At 25%. Base is being captured. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Enemy base is being captured. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Enemy base is being captured. Target destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up right there. <laughs> oh, this thing is ridiculous. This said these armor quirks are fun. Was it that said that? Oh. Oh, the art atlas. <laughs> that was chaos. Oh my gosh, that was so much chaos. It was ridiculous. <laughs> 